so what we're looking at is just sort of a print screen of a robot C page. Now, most of these things you've already seen. So for example, what is this right here? What, are, what is this box? What are these things in here? Yeah, the assigned motors and sensors. That's it. That's what this section is sort of devoted to. Assigned motors and sensors. We've also seen this before. What is this? Yeah, it's the debugger window. It's what you use to debug your robot. If your code is expecting something to happen and it's not happening, you can find out if it's the sensor or the motor or if it's your code. If it's working here in the debugger window, then you know there's something wrong in your code. If it's not working in your code and it's not working in the debugger window, you probably have it plugged in wrong. Do you see how you can use this to debug your program? So what is this? If this is the debugger window, what is this? It's the pop-up for the debugger. It's the debugger pop-up. Now, the rest of this you will become more familiar with when you get uh, to work on Activity 2 and Activity 3. But... Just taking a quick look at this writing in green, what do you think this is? Task description, good for you. Task description. It's where you describe that complex task we were talking about earlier. What about this? Pseudocode, we're gonna call it the multi-line pseudocode. Why do y'all think I call it multi-line pseudocode? because there's multiple lines there in a row. Very good. Pseudo, I spelled code wrong, C-O-D-E. All right, what about these lines of pseudocode? If you look, it looks awfully similar. They are the comments, they're sort of a translation, that's, but that's what pseudocode is. They're comments, notes, or translations. These are our single line pseudocode. What is this right here? This is the code itself, guys. This is this is the entirety of the program. This is just the code. It's the main task we're trying to perform. And this up here is just called our text function library. I'm going to go ahead and separate those so you can see it. And this is just sort of um, so you know how to or know what you're looking at when you're working in Robot C. All these different things that'll pop up while you're working, so you kind of have a general idea what it is each thing you're looking at is. Any questions? All right. I have to go to the next page. I will let you be the judge of whether or not you have to.